Azure, Hugo Yamanoglu. We await the salutation and the team will determine who is going to be competing. And once we get that confirmation, we will be able to give you the lineup for Team Iran. Abizari, Ashkari, Conche, Kanzare, Heida, Haidari, Kodabak Kashi, and Porshav. They are the options. How do you feel this is going to go, Jonathan? Oh, I mean, you were competing in the team as well for Germany. Yeah, but this is a special, special moment, special final. Uh, both teams are really incredible. Uh, Iran, twice world champion. Turkey always had a good team, so I think it will be a hard decision. It certainly will. There's no, there's no doubt about that. It's going to be an amazing bout as the teams have a last few seconds to huddle before they line up ready for the bout. And I'm going to see if I can get the fighting order from the official table. So it's going to be Turkey opening the score, and it is Yamanaglu. There's a video review. Video review request. Point is given. Team Turkey. Video review was lost for Team Iran. <coughs> oh, great counter punch there nice. from Yamana Glue. He's really fast. That's good eye. So referee Takahashi from Japan gets them back underway. We have Salem Abasari for Iran wearing the blue colors. Alpasan Yamanaglu. Oh, there was a what you getting? No attempt. Uh, no opportunity for a video review. None of the judges went for it. <laughs> With the team of like five matches, the tactics is, are different, aren't they? Uh, Jonathan, for because you can play for a draw, for yeah, example. Yeah, of course. You can play for a draw if you uh, see that uh, you got a, a good opponent, um, you a little bit uh, not so good as him. So you go for a draw for the team and some other guy have to fix it and have to get a point. Uh, so you can handle a little bit with your tactic between the matches. And uh, But at least every match has to be win and I think that's how we're going to be. That's right. You, you, you've, got to, you've got to go for the win if you possibly can. Right. It's a 2-0 lead in the first bout of the five, potentially five matches. If the team, if a team wins three matches, the match is finished at that point. So we're in the last minute. It's still the Amanaglu of Turkey in the lead with 2-0 against Salam Absari of Iran. If 
fights very well and smart. Because Amazuki there over the top from Abasari. Too short though. He got out of that corner then, didn't he? He didn't, uh, didn't take a jog eye. He just 14 seconds left now. Does it quite well. Play with yeah, the time. Abbas yeah, Abbasari going for that Chudem Mawashi, but he was looking away at the time and holding on at the same time. And the referee will give him a Hansel Kachui category two. And we'll go straight to Hansel Kachui because we're in the last 15 seconds of the bag. Oh, that oh, was a good. A joke, uh, how did you see? Oh, he stepped yeah. out, but there was a Joe number watching, and I'm sorry, he's looking at his coach thinking, "Now, oh, why didn't I have a card to call there? Because he may well have yeah, it got that. Nice kick. It looked good, didn't it? But they. Whoa! Oh, that was a Joe number Brilliant. Washi, but only one flag. Oh no! There's only one That's flag. That's so sad. That looked good as well, didn't it? But no facility for a challenge. Well, there is a video review challenge for for red. But the uh, sometimes, sometimes the sometimes the guys can uh, the coaches can depress and ask for a coach with the excitement and it yeah. mean, but the bag Especially is finished. The final, you see it often yes. that they are no emotionally and then they click. But yeah, so Abusari comes off just catches his hand. The second bat will get underway. First match going to Turkey. Referee for the second bout, Cleveland Baxter from the United States. Quiet start. Is Ashkari for Iran, Burak Ogur for Team Turkey. Ashkari got world champion yesterday. He did. Quite well. Oh, oh nice. That was a good punch. counter punch there nice from Barak Ogur. There's the Yuko score, and he will take the Senchu on the way through to the final. Turkey beat Kingdom of Saudi Arabia 3-0 in the first round. World Karate Federation Team 3 in the second round 3-0. Japan in, in the third 3-1. Macedonia 3-1 in the fourth round. And Azerbaijan on points count back, seven points, seven, 14 points to 7. The World Karate Federation Team 3 is a facility for athletes from around the world who, for whatever reason, are unable to represent the country of their birth. But they are, as athletes, allowed to fly the flag of the World Karate Federation. That's good. I like that. And I think there were six teams. Six teams. So, or six athletes who came through into these championships under the country. World Karate Federation, which is which is great to see. Yeah, it's great to see that they got the opportunity to start at yes. the World Championship. Politics is not allowed to stand in the way of sportsmanship, right. Right. which is wonderful. Still, Turkey leads one win to zero with that first match and one point to zero here in the second bout. 
Barman Ashkari in the blue colours for Iran. Barak Agur for Turkey. It is. He's he's using that spoiling tactic, getting Get in, getting in close out. and yeah. moving around. Both have the first level category two. There's a Jordan or a Mawashi attempt there from Ashkari. But it, a girl will be penalized. The second, level, the second yellow, Kekoku. Still 58 seconds to go. Oh, 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 nice punch. There is a video review challenge going to come here. I'm sure that that Ashibarai and the Zuki. Yes, there is. The coach has gone for a video review for Burak Ogur. Really good at Ashibarai. The punch came in after that. But whether it was good enough, let's have a look on the video review. There's the punch. You can't yeah. quite see whether it was on target because of the arm position. There was the punch there. Now, whether it was deemed to have had good form and met the criteria for Ippon. We'll have to wait and see. It has been rejected because both he's, the stance wasn't, wasn't so good. Yeah, the stand he's, wasn't good. No and the arm it. was slightly bent. Mm. So it, it fell foul on more than one of the six criteria. Uh, so it wasn't a score, which means now that Barak Agur, he still leads one point to zero. He still has to send you, but the coach will not be able to call for a video review again in the bout. And if athletes lose the the card during the elimination rounds, they get it back in the semi-final and also get it back again in the quarter in the bronze medal bouts or gold medal finals. But that's a new rule. Yes, it is. Which is which Before is great. Or you you lose the card, you just get it for the medal, yes. for the bounce. Now you get it in the semi-final back. I think that's right. That's right, yeah. That's okay because it's a special match. It's yeah. I mean, if you got the opportunity for for a video review. It's perfect. And I'm, 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 I mentioned to David Benatello, and I'd be interested to understand your feeling mm -hmm. as a world champion, as a Karate One Premier League winner, uh, Jonathan. Do you think that the athlete should have the opportunity to call for a video review? Or leave it with the coach? Oh, I think I will leave it with the coach because there are so emotions in it. And as an athlete, you, you don't got the right standing, the right... Uh, you just got a feeling that you're in, but you don't see how... You don't see the whole walk. picture. Yeah, right. So it's better that an outstanding person can call that's, the video That's review. interesting. That's interesting. There was a Jordan Uramawashi attempt there from Ashgari. But in tennis, for example, when I mentioned this to David, the player can say, I think that was in, or I think that was out, right. and, and, and has the uh, chance for the umpire to, to have a look using Hawkeye. Right. Uh, they can only do that twice, twice in the game, we understand that, but what I think is uh, can be a bit frustrating is if you're, as a player, thinking the closing seconds that you've, del you've absolutely scored, mm -hmm. And you ask your coach, because we do see the signals, don't we, sometimes, right. yeah. to give the call. You could get yourself disqualified, and you could be right. It could have been a score. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit, that's a problem. Uh, because as a competitor, you don't, have, you don't get a chance to say something. So you have to do some special with your coach, so some signals. Um, and if you get disqualified for a point that you have done, and you can't say get the card or get the video review that's uh, frustrating mm. but how about how about if you did ask the coach and you were right that he keeps the card if you're wrong you mm. lose it yeah maybe that's a way forward maybe that's a way yeah 
there some space to... There, yes, yeah. But it is great that there is the facility, isn't it? That the yeah. coach has a voice and the athlete has a voice through the coach. That's, that's great. It took a long time to get there, but I think it's the right way. Especially that many sports got a video review. So, yes, it's perfect for us. There's a great two key there. From Porsche. Doesn't need a video review. Takes the score. Fernando Olivelli, the referee for this bout. Turkey is still leading <coughs> two wins to zero overall. So Porsche must at least draw this bout, ideally to win. Yes. Yes. Could be a nice. Oh, good, good counter punch there, wasn't there? From Ridvan Kaptan. But if it's poor job, there is a video review challenge, and that may well be a good one. We'll have to wait and see. The video review team are located outside of the auditorium. Oh no. There's a Zuki. Oh. He looked a bit high, actually, didn't it? Over the head. Over the head. Yeah, right. And you're correct. He didn't meet the target. It's off target. So Giuseppe Zaccaro from Italy says no. So one minute, 50 seconds left. We still have Borshab leading two points to zero, and he has the century advantage. But Turkey, with two wins, are still ahead. Could be a penalty, could be a warning. Holding on. Chukoku, don't do that again. That's what he's selling him. <laughs> there is the principle of three strikes and you're out in category one or category two. Three yellow cards, the fourth would be a red and you would be disqualified. to the last minute of the bout. Oh, yeah, that was clever. Closed. Ashibarai attempt there. Well, Captain holding on. Stopping Porsche up from doing a clear takedown. Third penalty. And so Kachui, he will be now. Oh, sorry, Keikoku, because Ah, the first one. Correct. So the, the warnings don't cross accumulate. Category one is predominantly around contact violations or dangerous throws. Category two can be time wasting, holding on, stepping off the tatami. But the thing asking about your to coach to call a video <laughs> review. Yeah. But the thing about to uh, cross them. To fit them together, then you only got one uh, category for both. Well, that would make life incredibly interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> because let's let's say you're in the last few seconds of a bout, and you don't want to take a jogai, you could deliberately take a category one. Right, right. That's a tactic today, and it could be a tactic. Yeah, We've course, seen it happen, course. and, yeah. and uh, but special. One of the person had to go front so he attacks you what else can you do only to punch or go out so yeah or score or score but yeah, yeah so poor Shab is saying come wins. on now let's 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 lift this let's get some energy oh. in here 
Horshaw takes the, the win, the first win for Iran. Look at he's saying to his team, come on, we can get back in this. Number three coming out for Iran is Kodak Dabashi. And number three, number four for Turkey is Erman Edmir. So, situation is Turkey have two wins. Iran has one win. This is a vitally important bout for Team Iran. They could afford to draw, but they cannot afford to lose. Both players have the facility for the video review because each of the player has a, a card in their own right. So just because a coach may lose that option in one of the bouts, he doesn't, that doesn't affect the others. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, Good Joe Lanzuki there. Nice. Attempt from Erman Eltmeer, but it was a, a brilliant counter punch from Conductor Basi. Again, a video review. So he won't receive the Senshu until the video re review has been complete. So let's see. There's the Jordan Gazamazuki. No, it looked a long way off, but there's the Chudanzuki counter punch. It's no, no point. That doesn't look good, and it has been rejected quite rightly. It didn't meet the criteria in terms of distance or form. So the point Yuko score and the Senchu has been given to Iran. Kodabakshi getting close to the Jogai line. He needs to stay in there. Elkmir tried to force him onto that red area and out of the tatami. Kodabakshi just trying to find a way to escape. And it's a passivity warning from Guido Abdallah from Guatemala, the referee for this bout. Match four of the five. Team Turkey still leads two wins to one. But he ran. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, there. That was another good Perfect. counter punch, wasn't it? Nice, well done. nice reaction. Responding to that demand from Paul Sharp for energy and focus. This will be an important win for Iran and it'll all be down to the last bout if this goes to Iran. If it's a draw at the end of it, it'll be on points count back. Oh, Judah nice. Washi Gary, that was superb, wasn't Perfect. it, Jonathan? Perfect. Great timing. Nice attack. And what Although he was winning, he now he needs he wants to get points. points. Yeah, he needs the because points because he wants to. There was a 2-0 win in the first round um, to Turkey, 1-0 in the second round. So Turkey has three points there. Iran has two points from the third bout, plus the four here. So that's six points to three. If there were a draw. At the end of this, Iran would win on the points. On the points. So that's why it's so important for the athletes to keep completely focused right throughout the bout. Chuda Mawashi attempt there from Elkmir. That will be a penalty. For holding on, you're right. Kodabakshi receives a Keikoku. Still leading. 
comfortably in front with four points but doesn't want to allow any chance for Elkmer to get on that scoreboard 22 seconds left to go in the fourth match of five good counter punch again closing down quite a good tactic that wasn't it yeah it does it work well Cleverly nice moves off to the side, yeah. didn't he? Good ring craft, good. Jordan. Kazamazuki there. No, it's a special and fight. It is over. Now, it oh. is all depending on it, the win in this last bout. If either of the teams win, they become world champions. If it's a draw, it will go to points. So the points are so important in this last match and we have David Gandhari the former world cha champion beaten yesterday by that amazing chap sitting right next to me Jonathan Horn the new world champion he's up against nice. Ayur Akash this this is going to be the most important match the most exciting match I am sure there's a contact violation there Gandhari So good after this. Akash, he tries that leg sweep. He knows that he needs points and he knows he needs a win. He cannot lose the match. Right. Ganzari has got amazing kicks. We saw that against you yesterday. Um, you immediately came out with that Yushiro Uramawashi. There's a Jordan Zuki from Ganzare. Both have cards, so the coach can call for a re review if they wish to such has got a better standing now Whoa. Oh, but after the Jordan Zuki from Gantare so two things happening here now there was a contact to the face of Gantare Gantare did put that punch in Is he bleeding? oh yes That was a hard kick. It looks quite a sore one. It looks, uh, it looks like he's split the the nose open. And we see here, there's the Zuki. That was the first one. There's the Jordan Zuki, and here's the kick. There. And it looks as though it was the heel that's caused that damage and you heard the audience go oh <laughs> when they saw that go in so that's a fabulous replay that was the first attempt here's the Zuki oh, and there's the kick that hurts now the referee has a decision here on the level of contact he could say that it was slight it was has no effect on the impact of the match in which case it would be Chikoku right. it clearly isn't that it could be a slight impact on the ability of the competitor to lose the match in which case it's kickoff it isn't that it could be seriously affecting his ability to win the match in which case it would be Hansaku and I think it will be Hansaku any more than that it would be Hansaku and that depends on whether the doctor says that Ganzare can continue to compete yeah. if he says he can't that's it that's it then it's over then it would have to be a, a Hansaku if he says he can compete it's down to the referee to advise the judges. Should it be Hansoku Chui or should it be Hansoku? I think it would be Hansoku. He Chui. also has to give the point because yeah, the flags course, went out for Ganzade. So there's Zade quite a few things point. going on here. He gets the point. Get so the it will Chui. probably be a point to Ganzade and either Hansoku Chui or Hansoku and the referee for the bout Elois Wiesberg from Austria first of all awards the point and he gets the centu and now yeah. his decision has been to recommend Hansoku Chui That's okay. which is exactly the right outcome right. perfect 
Kajade tries that Ashiba right. It is 2-2. Iran are winning this final bout 1.0 through the world silver medalist Kajade. Jonathan has a little wry smile to my right because oh, he's nice the world champion punch. in the same way. Nice. Kantare again uses that Jodan Gazamazuki, the head punch. Extends his lead by a further Yuko score. of sitting back a little he can't afford of course he can't afford another contact violation because that would be Hansoku and that would be that just loses now so yes he's got to go so he's got to go for it he's got one minute 19 seconds Agur Akhtash for Turkey has got to find a way of beating Ganjade. He can't afford to draw because the points camp back would give a win to Iran. So he must win. Now he has a Chukoku for category two. So it's not going well for Turkey and Agur Akhtash. This time he forces. Ganzade off the tatami and it's a Chikoku category 2 warning yellow for Ganzade <laughs> 45 seconds left Jordan Mawashi, Yushiro Ono Mawashi attempt, there's a Juki that's all livening up here from Akash, he's got to go for it and again it was looks like there was a contact there it looked like there was a contact. Aktash may well have exhausted all his options here because if the referee goes for another contact, it will be Hansoku and the world title will go to Iran. Third time in a row. Yes, yes. Only two teams have ever Come close to the world record, which is five consecutive world title wins. That was France, and it, it Great Britain won the five consecutive, and Gr and France had four. And and oh, that's it. Oh, he didn't go for the contact. Now it may have been, oh. it may have been that that the bleed on the nose was actually because of the previous injury. So. It was a very important call, and the referee would have been discussing the options, considering the options with the doctor. Uh, it didn't have to have been a hard contact, actually, to no, make that nose no. bleed again. It could have been just a just, touch. Just a touch and you bleed. And, of course, you wouldn't want to destroy a world title opportunity with a decision that may have a margin. Yeah, right. It, has to, it should be absolutely clear. Nice, There's a perfect. Pass. Jona Gazamazuki there from Gantari. I think it's over. That's it. Well, we only have seven seconds. Now, is it a point or a is point. it a contact? It is a right point. Decision. It's okay. Great decision. Kanzari once more flies in. He knew Akhtash was going to come. He had no option. Yeah, he no and option. he was waiting for him to deliver that. Jordan Gazamazuki takes another point. That's now four points to zero. He also has the Senchu. It's pretty much all over now for Team Turkey. And it's finished. There's a They're a world uh, champion. But again. The win. Oh! And the gold medal and the world title goes to Iran. Once more, world champions. They deserve it, really. They are a great team. 
great athletes on each position. So it was three wins to two that takes Iran to the top of the podium to become world champions again. 2016, the final was between Iran and Japan. Congratulations, all the competitors. Three, two, what a tight That's a perfect on. end for this it, tournament. Yes. Nice fights. Brilliant. Brilliant. Friendship. From the Iranian team. In terms of highlights, Jonathan, apart from your obvious one, there has been some incredible karate, hasn't there? Yeah, it was. Here at the World Championship. It was incredible. It was nice fights, uh, fair fights, uh, nice judge decisions, perfect. And well, it's very, it's I like very. The, I like this World Championship, really. It's very important point that you made there about the judgment and about the the, the fairness yeah. uh, of the officials because they are volunteers. Yeah. Uh, they work incredibly hard. That's right. Uh, in a different way, but equally as hard as the athletes yeah, in preparing for the World Championship. They can't just simply come here. They have to qualify to come here. They right. have to do Premier Leagues around the world. They have to do A Series around the world and also Youth Leagues so around the world. They have to qualify, yeah, just hard. as the athletes do. And then they have to pass the exams. And right. then they have to get on the tatami and prove that they can do the job. Right. It's not easy to no. be an official. No, it's not easy. And, um, but it shouldn't be, because you athletes demand and should always have the absolute best professional assessments That's right. of the work that you do. A special they decide who wins. So yes. it's, it's just good if they have to prove they are the best for us. And it's, it's perfect. Here there was the best the referees I have ever seen in the last couple of years. It was brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Excellent style. Excellent style, isn't it? And again, uh, there's that Chuda Mawashi. What a fast! And that was the that was the the heel that hit the face right. that caused that Hansaku Chui warning. Perfect. He gets out. He got such a fast Kazamazuki. And That's you obviously knew guy. this. You you obviously knew this, and you're you've got an incredibly long reach as well, haven't you, Jonathan? Right. With your Jordan Urakanuchi and your Jordan Gazamazukis, the full package. You've got to be able to punch. You've got to be able to kick it at this level, haven't you? If you don't get it, you don't get it at this level. It's, it's special that you have every technique. You can choose between counter attack, uh, Jordan Giri, Jordan Giri uh, punches. You have to. It's so athletic and if you just have one Kyakutsuki, you don't get there where you want to go. And you have to be a strategist.